It's fair to say that often my best ideas have followed a cup of coffee. And for this project, I'll be upcycling an empty coffee packet into some shiny layer wings for a mackerel rig and also doing a bit of fishing. To start with, I'm going to cut open the coffee packet and then slice off some one inch strips. These can be folded over and a little bit of pressure added to score the plastic. Then I can cut out the basic diamond shape of the wings, leaving one end slightly shorter than the other. I can use this as a template to cut out another three sets of wings. To make them easier to tie in place, I'm going to cut a concave shape into the short end of the diamond and then put a nick in the pointed end. For hooks, I'm using two slash zero nickel plated O'Shaughnessy's. And to tie them, a 40 pound monofilament cut into nine inch lengths to make the layers and snoods. To assemble, I'm gonna use one hand as a vise and get a really firm hold of the hook. Then I can add the wing and position it. Taking a short piece of line, I can thread one end through the eye and the slit in the plastic and then feed it through a little past the bend of the hook. The other end can then be brought round to form a loop and positioned on top of the hook shaft. Then I can wrap the loop around using just enough pressure to form four to five loose coils. With the wraps complete, I can pinch it all together and make sure the loop is on the outside of the wings and then gently pull the tag end to close the loop and the knot. This can be a little tricky and care needs to be taken to unwind the twists in the loop to avoid kinking the line. But when it's complete I can pull the knot firmly and then with a pair of pliers for grip and a little force I can really cinch the knot down. To finish I can trim the loose end off and then feed the tag end back through the eye. And that's the knot complete. To provide a little extra protection and some contrast, I'm going to give the knot a coat of nail varnish. And then I can repeat the process until I have four layers. For the rigged line, I need to pull a couple of feet or 600mm of line off the spool and then make a loop which I can pass the end through twice before gently pulling at either side to almost close the knot up until it forms a pair of small loops. I need to tie another three of these knots spaced about 10 inches apart up the line to form the branch point. I can then thread the line from one of the layers in through one eye and out through the other and then pull the layer up to the rig line and the knot. By pulling either side of that knot I can then close it up a little tighter. To secure the layer I'm going to use its line to make a loop of about a one inch diameter. Then pass the end of that line through the loop and around four times to make a uni knot. This can then be pulled up and tightened. And then gripping the rig line and the layer, it can be closed up fully. just remains to trim off the tag end and the first branch is made. To add the other three layers the process can be repeated on the other branch knots and then the rig can be cut free of the spool about a foot up from the last branch. To finish the top of the rig I'm going to tie on a barrel swivel at the cut end. 
Using a uni knot again, I can space this 10 inches up from the top branch. For the bottom of the rig, I'm going to tie a simple double overhand loop knot at about 18 inches below the bottom branch. This will form the connection to the weight by looping in rather than tying directly. For storage, I can simply coil up the rigs and slide them into press seal bags. Then it's time to find some water. I think some of the places I've fished I really needed to catch just to make it seem worthwhile. And then there are the places where just having a fishing rod in the hand is enough. <laughs>